The developers of Shiba Inu are not playing around. They have just partially unveiled the enormous upgrade they are working on. However, it is only the beginning of the story. The world of cryptocurrency took off only today. BlackRock intervened together with major participants, contributing hundreds of millions of dollars. And among all the cryptocurrency companies, Shiba will probably gain the most. But what's really happening? And for heaven's sake, what am I even talking about? Now allow me to clarify. Welcome to Dr. Crypto, your daily serving of Shiba. This is the spot for you if you're curious about anything related to Shiba. If you want to keep informed about all the latest news forecasts and stay ahead of the curve in the crypto industry, subscribe. To get more ship news, be sure to click the like button. While many continue to rejoice over BlackRock's recent triumph against Grayscale, often referred to by certain users as the crypto evil, a new issue has emerged today. For those who do not know, massive quantities of money began to flow into BlackRock and other corporations shortly after the first Bitcoin ETF was launched. Daily inflows of millions of dollars into their Bitcoin ADFs. Many believed this to be the beginning of a massive bull run, and not just the Bitcoin boom, but the whole cryptocurrency market boom. This makes a lot of sense, and it's easy to see why everyone is excited. Daily inflows of hundreds of millions of dollars began into these Bitcoin ETFs within days of the ETH's approval. The substantial sum of money demonstrated that large investors were at last entering the cryptocurrency market, bringing both confidence and a lot of cash. It resembles a little neighborhood farmer's market, where sellers often provide their food to those living nearby for modest prices. Suddenly, they see trucks pulling up. These aren't just any old trucks, however. These vehicles are loaded with cash and prepared for spending. The farmers are alerted to a significant development by this unexpected financial infusion. Similar to this, many saw a massive shift occurring when hundreds of millions of dollars began to pour into Bitcoin ADFs, suggesting that large capital was entering the market and potentially causing a sharp increase in cryptocurrency values. But here's where something went wrong. Before the ETF was authorized, a participant by the name of Grayscale had enormous amounts of Bitcoin. But first, where did they obtain it from? They gathered a sizable sum over time since. To refresh your memory, they were among the first to provide Bitcoin trust for Bitcoin investments. Grayscale already had a massive amount of Bitcoin, while BlackRock and other companies were only beginning to accumulate their reserves. Grayscale then astonished everyone by selling hundreds of millions of dollars worth of Bitcoin every day, just when interest in the cryptocurrency was peaking and inflows were booming. This resulted in many crashes. Even while the money inflow from organizations like as BlackRock first seemed to be positive, it took some time for the prices to rise as a result. Only because the tremendous selling pressure exerted by Grayscale restrained the growth of Bitcoin. And since a lot of other cryptocurrencies used the same strategy as Bitcoin, they were also caught in a rut. However, the bulls were unstoppable anyway, and Bitcoin eventually surged to beyond $70,000, setting new all-time highs. Most cryptocurrencies, as previously said, seek to emulate Bitcoin, but one sticks out for its peculiar behavior. Shiba Inu is a cryptocurrency that is very responsive to changes in Bitcoin prices. The thrill doubles as Bitcoin heads up and Shiba Inu rises even higher. However, Shiba Inu suffers a greater hit to its price when Bitcoin's value declines, feeling the impact twice as keenly. And a short while after, Shiba Inu's price almost quadrupled in a matter of days as Bitcoin reached a new all-time high. Even though it has been three months after this enormous incident, some individuals are still commemorating it. However, the excitement has subsided three months later. Following significant price increases, the market usually cools down. Thus, the emphasis now lies on something else. The Ethereum ETF was authorized suddenly just a week ago. As trading hasn't begun, the cryptocurrency market hasn't yet had a significant influence. But the buzz and conjecture are building. This circumstance makes us think of what transpired with Bitcoin, when its ETF was authorized back in January. Bitcoin finally reached new all-time highs as a result of hundreds of millions of dollars coming in every day.
Interestingly, the Sheba Inu community is particularly receptive to the hype and conjecture around the Ethereum ETF. Making historical comparisons, they're speculating as to whether the Ethereum ETF would impact Shiba Inu prices as much as the Bitcoin ETF did. That is a subject worth considering, to be sure. Things start to become intriguing at this point. Many had anticipated that the Ethereum ETF would have an even greater and quicker effect than it did for Bitcoin, because no major player like Grayscale is prepared to dump enormous quantities of Ethereum immediately when the ETF trading begins, they'd assumed that major changes will occur sooner rather than later. But everything changed on this particular day. Prior to today, it was a well-known truth, but it gained broad attention. Huge amounts of Ethereum are also held by Grayscale. Many have been stunned by this news, and others are even furious. Simply because they now understand that, similar to what happened with Bitcoin, Grayscale may release an excessive amount of Ethereum into the market, potentially damping any sharp price gains and even creating collapses. To have a better idea of what could happen next, let's do some additional analysis before drawing any judgments. Ender's value increased by about a third in the days before the Ethereum ETF acceptance. But concerns over Grayscale's Ethereum trust began to surface shortly after the permission itself. This trust is a prominent participant in the Ethereum market, managing an astounding $11 billion in the cryptocurrency. This is when things start to become intriguing. Investors are concerned about a replay of the previous situation after notable withdrawals from the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust during the last three months, which countered the impact of large inflows. After spot Bitcoin ATS were approved, Grayscale Bitcoin saw massive withdrawals in less than a month totaling $6.5 billion, or 23% of its managed assets. According to a recent analysis by Keiko Research, average daily withdrawals from Grayscale Ethereum might reach $110 million if past trends hold true. The possible effects of Grayscale's participation are clarified by this study. That offers us an idea of what the cryptocurrency market may do going forward. According to Tony Matias, co-founder of a platform centered on Ethereum, there will be large withdrawals from Grayscale's Ethereum Trust, similar to what happened with the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. But he highlights an important distinction between the two. Upon the approval of the spot Bitcoin ADFs, Grayscale controlled around $30 billion in Bitcoin, or 3.5% of Ethereum, or 2.2% of the market capitalization. Matthias says that because Grayscale Ethereum has a lesser market share, the ATF's effect may be greater and there might be fewer withdrawals than anticipated. It is noteworthy, however, that Matthias is still upbeat about the long-term picture. He thinks Ethereum may see something similar to what happened to Bitcoin, where we first witnessed falls after ETF approval, followed by increases in price. Long-term price increases may result from the constant flow of capital brought in by the adoption of ATS. Matias also draws attention to Ethereum's environmental friendliness in comparison to Bitcoin, which may persuade investors who care about the environment to choose the Ethereum ETF over the Bitcoin ETF. If you're an experienced cryptocurrency trader, you should be aware that the primary difference between Bitcoin and Ethereum, the problem of energy consumption, has historically generated a great deal of controversy. Tesla even decided to stop accepting Bitcoin as payment for its vehicles due to its excessive energy use. An enticing alternative is Ethereum, with its proof-of-stake concept that is more ecologically friendly. Ethereum ETFs may become appealing to conventional investors who want to match their investments with social, environmental, and governance standards as a result of this viewpoint. Therefore, the long-term picture seems bright for some, even if Grayscale may begin selling its massive Ethereum holdings when trading begins. Furthermore, creators of Shiba Inus are practically getting ready for any advantages right now. The Ethereum bridge time has been considerably accelerated from 7 days to only 45 minutes, according to their Layer 2 scaling solution, Shibarium, which they just disclosed. Since Ethereum serves as the foundational blockchain for other cryptocurrencies and initiatives, including Shiba Inu, 
any enhancements to its infrastructure have far-reaching implications, making this especially noteworthy since they directly address a bottleneck in Ethereum's ecosystem. Transaction speed and efficiency increase when the bridge time between Ethereum and Shibarium is shortened. This update couldn't have arrived at a better moment, particularly since Ethereum ETF trading is about to begin. These days, the Shibarium team said, it's all about efficiency and user-friendliness. Thus, as the Shiba Inu development team gets ready for another possible bull run in the whole crypto market, the excitement is building. What are your thoughts on it, though? Post a comment below. I would eagerly read your thoughts. The date is over now. Remember to give it a big thumbs up. To see our most recent material, share it and subscribe to the channel.